Hi guys, welcome to Senvo Automotive. I'm Christian Brandt, I'm Head of Design. And today we will be looking at our configurator of the new uh, Aurora model. Uh, I have Frederick with me, who's in charge. And um, we've done a lot of work on basically trying to come up with interesting ways of configurating the new car. Uh, our philosophy about the whole uh, specification process is that uh, we don't have any limitations or anything we can't do. We basically want to be able to do anything that a client would require from us. Um, so we have uh, generated a huge amount of uh, colors that we can apply to the, to the car. We can uh, do um, a lot of tint colors on all the carbon parts. Uh, of course, the, the, the colored parts, the red ones that you see here can also be carbon fiber. Um, and then we can tweak a lot of smaller details with, with a lot of different materials. Um, so Frederick, maybe if you start by jumping through a few of the, uh, the sort of normal colors that we would apply on the, on the bodywork. Yeah, so here in the top, we have these five, what we call Borealis colors kind of fit, fitting with the, the Northern Light, the Aurora Borealis. Mm -hmm. So we have the, the red, as you see here, called 400, because that's at the altitude in kilometers where these particles from the sun hits the atmosphere and create this red light. Sure. And the same goes on for, for the yellow, so that's at 300 kilometers and 200 kilometers for the green and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course we have the more normal colors, if we can say so, that we've been using some of them during the years here. Mm -hmm. um, Another thing, as we are a Danish company, we have actually named all our colors with Danish names. So the uh, this orange color, which is um, we call it Rau, is, is basically uh, amber in English. So yeah, so all the names are Danish. And then of course, uh, we can combine all these uh, colors with um, with the carbon fiber and different sort of tints. Uh, it's really with the silver, maybe you can, uh, can okay. show that, Frederick, just because it's you know a neutral color. Um, so it's divided in, in different areas of the car. So for example, you could do the whole top part of the car in, uh, in, a, in a tint, uh, tinted carbon. Um, uh, of course, there's, again, from all, all kinds of different colors. And we can also repeat that at the, at the bottom, as you see here, now it's getting pretty wild, <laughs> but just as an example. Um, and of course, tint, uh, be having the quality of being a transparent uh, sort of color or paint, uh, you, can, you can decide what sort of level of, of tint you want. So the tint can be very, very subtle. So it's, it looks almost black, but then in the highlights in the sunlight, you would start to see a little bit of color. Uh, until until adding so much tint that you almost sort of cover the cover the the carbon fiber and and hide it away. So you really you need to get really close up to the to the to the material to see that it's actually carbon fiber. Um, again, here there is no limitations of, of of the shade of tint. We can basically customize any sort of shade of tint to to a customer. Um, and. Of course, when we come to the, the wheels, uh, right now we have the, the, the black wheels, which is, uh, which is one option. Um, and of course, we can do any color you like as well on the, on the wheels. We have here, of course, silver, uh, like a gun metal. Um, there are other, you know, bronze, gold uh, colors. Uh, and also we can apply, as we see here, the, a, a, the diamond cut to the, to the front face of the wheel. So the wheel itself is black and then the front face is, 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 is sort of machined in the CNC process. Um, they could also be fully painted in, uh, yeah, in any, basically any color uh, that you require. We have some accent lines as well. Um, so and it's a little bit different between the two cars. Of course, we have the Aquil and we have the Tour. Mm -hmm. So on the Aquil, we have these, uh, we have this sort of baseline running around the whole baseline of the car, the whole lower arrow pieces yeah. around the diffuser as well. And this one we have also extended to a, a bit more extreme version, which is uh, actually painting the whole underside of the of the car. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see how the, how the whole front splitter is painted underneath and then sort of bending up. Mm -hmm. And this really sort of shows the, 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 the barge board here on the side and, and the big diffuser. And that, of course, you can choose, you know, again, a number of different colors if you want it to be a little bit extreme and out there, depending on, again, how much do we want to show all that arrow uh, design going on. Mm. I uh, think this this one in particular is really changing the perception of, okay, that the Agile is always a very sort of race, you know, like a race car design in a way or race oriented, yeah. but with this, it, it becomes, you know, it moves from being a road car to really a race car, I yeah. think visually, it's very cool. Um, then of course we also have a few other lines. We have we have like these these top lines, which are almost like a sketching lines. Mm. Uh, very much what we're using when we're sitting down sketching. We have these very nice sort of dynamic lines. Um, yeah, so we kind of wanted to to emphasize these these horns on the car. You can see here we have these horns exactly. also on the front here. Mm. Um, you can go on to add something, uh, some elements on the wing. So either highlight it with a, with a pinstripe or do like the whole underfloor. So we paint the, the whole underside of the of the wing like this. Um, yeah, so there's, there's definitely a number of different uh, different options for, for, for accent lines. We even have, you know, further, you know, we, we have the, the scoop here as well, or, or even painting the whole sort of intake shape of the scoop. So. Yeah many different options and of course the customer can can go wild and if they have some ideas you know we are we are happy to to listen to that exactly and something which would normally not be an option is the the springs which of course is uh Ullins and which is normally yellow or black but we are able to 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 tint the, to paint the the spring as well in a in a color that is matching uh the for example here the all the orange part which is probably something you would do in, in let's say in this configuration would would look a lot nicer to have the the springs matching all the the, the accent lines that we applied to this design yeah um so that's basically the exterior of the agile of course all of these options can be applied as well to the uh, to the tour um I think you can, uh, and we can, yeah. So then, of course, interior. There's a whole uh, different chapter uh, adding to to all of these things. So the launch cars we we, we showed had basically, basically two very different interiors. The Agile had uh, like this, this kind of uh, like a technical 3D fabric on the seats. Uh, we're using that because the Agile is the more track-focused car, and it's it's a very comfortable uh, fabric to sit in when you're driving fast and you're you know you're you're sweaty and hot, um, and and that comes in a in a number of different colors. Um, it's basically as it, it's what is it called a three D knitted fabric. So it's actually the surface of the fabric is black, and then you have a, a sort of a, a second color like sort of inside the fabric. Uh, it gives a kind of a cool effect. Um, and this is then combined with the uh, Alcantara, uh, black Alcantara dashboard, steering wheel, uh, center of airbag, uh, etc. Uh, and also the door cards, uh, the armrests are basically Alcantara. Um, but of course, on the Agile, we would also be offering uh, leather. So, for example, the, uh, the cognac leather that uh, we have uh, launched the, the second car, the Tour in, would also be an option, of course, in the, um, in the Agile. Um, and again, we can basically jump through everything here. Um, many, many, it's, it's kind of normally you would have to stick to existing colors when it comes to leather, but we are actually able to uh, manufacture specific tones of leather with our uh, leather manufacturer. So let's say you have a <laughs> some sort of an item like a like a belt or handbag or something like that, that that is in a very specific color, you would actually be able to color match that exactly with the with the interior. So in this case, uh, something like a light blue would, would be an option. Um, what Frederick is also showing here is like with the light blue, there's that we can also not have the dashboard light blue, um, which is almost something we would normally not recommend to have because you get a lot of reflections in the in the window. So you would just do the seats and the the door cards and the, the steering wheel. Um, yeah, then we've we've gone a bit sort of crazy with with other options. Uh, we like to to try to push the envelope for interiors a little bit. Conventionally, interiors is very much dominated by either leather or Alcantara, or sort of cheaper cars have fabric interiors. But I think the the last couple of years, fabrics have come in again with, with being sort of a you know some manufacturers are using wool fabrics and, and stuff, which is really nice. 
And so what we have some examples of here would be to do some sort of tartan fabric, which would be a wool fabric, um, wool polyester something fabric. Um, and there's of course a million uh, options there to, 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 to offer fabrics and, and it can really transform the interior. It's, 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 it's kind of playing with some sort of 1970s sort of uh, vibe, which, which I think is quite, is quite funny and, and quite, it makes the interior very unique and, and, and special. Yeah. Especially when you then start to sort of combine it with all the aluminum pieces inside the, inside the car. Yes. Of course, sure. we have the whole sensor stack here and the air vents and a lot of aluminum pieces around the, around the steering wheel. Yeah. So we have the option of, of start changing some of that. So, for example, you can go all silver like we have on, on the Tour launch car. Yeah. Um, or you can tone it down a little bit if you don't want to have all of it uh, silver. We, we have some different options for that. And of course, we can mix and combine to yeah. whatever whatever desire. Sure. Or, you know, rose gold, and you go nuts and go real gold. Yeah. Um, and of course, we have all these anodized colors as well. So you can really anodize it to, to the exact color that you want. Yeah. Uh, or maybe even you just just want some of the highlights around some of the dials and so on to, yeah. to have a, a, a anodizing is, is a, like with the leather where somewhere we can actually I mean normally you would you would have to choose between some sort of a, a, a range of anodizing colors but we are actually able to completely sort of tailor tailor make uh, anodizing colors uh, after again some sort of a sample that that you know you might prefer so so there are really some some interesting options and it has a really cool finish uh, on the parts, uh, which which we think is is, is really nice. Yeah. Um, alternatively to uh, to anodizing colors, we we would of course be able to, as Frederick said, we can use uh, gold. That could be like 24 karat. It could be a platinum. It could be rhodium, which is this uh, like a, it could, well rhodium comes in different versions, but there's one which is this really dark, uh, almost black like like sort of a black chrome finish, um, which is really beautiful. Um, so that, that's that's just basically a way of, of uh, yeah. Oh, there's rose gold, you know. All these things is, is possible. Um, again, and, and of course, in a combination of, of more or less rose gold and more or less black parts. When, when the, the standard configuration of the Agile, as we showed on the on the launch car, is just this uh, like a black anodizing. It makes the whole interior more sort of sinister and, and again, yeah. some race like. Uh, over in the tour, we we went for the like simple polished aluminum, which is a classical choice and goes very nicely with the, uh, with, the with the tan interior, as you can see here. Um, yeah. So um, for me personally, um, I'm I'm very much a, 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 as as somebody might see from myself here today. <laughs> I'm very happy about orange. Uh, so for me, I would actually I would go for the tour uh, if it was my car, and I would actually uh, want to try to uh, to see how it looks in in, in orange. Um, and we have this um, this is like a, a like a flat flat orange, uh, which is nice. Uh, I really like the one we call the Rau, which is again uh, amber which I think is, is quite beautiful. Uh, it has these uh, extremely beautiful highlights that become sort of yellowish or really yellow, which is, which is really beautiful, which is why we actually named it uh, after amber, because it, that's you know, the effect it has. Um, and yeah, being, being happy about orange, I would, I would actually jump to an orange interior as well. I think that would be, uh, would, would be pretty nice. Um, uh, orange leather has some sort of quality to it. it it's it, some shades of orange leather reminds you of, of almost like a, a genuine leather color that isn't that isn't sort of dyed in. Of course, with this one, it's a very sort of loud orange color, but it's 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 pretty nice. Um, and again, we can we can tweak that color exactly to match the the sort of exterior. Um, alternatively, of course, could be uh, we could do all an all black interior, for example, yeah. black leather. And then, and then we could uh, play around with having uh, some of the anodized parts in orange. That would also be uh, quite interesting, I think. And, and matching sort of the, the exterior. Um, of course, an anodized color would never be the same as a painted color because anodizing is, is, is basically a transparent surface that you apply on top of the polished aluminum. So it's like a, it basically like the tint uh, that we use for yeah. the outside. 
Um, so it has a different quality, but it, it links to the exterior, uh, especially, I, I think it's quite clear here with the, with the highlights linking to some of the yellow uh, outside. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. I think actually on a second thought, I would maybe, maybe go for something like this, which, yeah. is, which is less in orange inside. So you're sort of almost inverting the, the, the color theme inside out. Yeah. Um, and orange 12 o'clock as well? I think orange 12 o'clock would be, would be the right choice. Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, and again, here, what you know, we, we could do everything also on the steering wheel orange, but I think maybe this is a, this is a nice balance so that it doesn't become too much orange. It, this is this is getting a little bit busy, I think. So, for my personal understanding, I think this is this is more nice. Like yeah. that. Uh, you just have the the door handle here, which is also aluminum. You just have that orange uh, orange on the on the door there. Um, on the seats, of course, we, 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 you know, we are focusing a lot on, on, on this reference to classic uh, sort of mid-century Danish design furniture, Anna Jakobsen and so forth. And his, his, his pieces are beautiful in just black leather. I mean, so I think, I think uh, high quality uh, black leather like, like, like this one is, is, is really gorgeous. Um, and it, of course, emphasizes how, how, how seamlessly this, the, the shape of, this, of the seat is actually integrated into the, into the monocoque. Yeah. So that's really cool. So on the seats, um, there are also some options to actually apply some, some unique details. Uh, for example, on the headrest, uh, you would be able to, to have uh, some sort of embroidery. Uh, this is just an example of the, the Senvo logo, which would probably be stitched in the leather with an embroidery machine. Um, but if you don't want to go for, for that, that's also a possibility to make something unique. Uh, and just as, a, as an example, we, we tried here to uh, just uh, show, which is, which is just my signature, that we have, uh, that we have applied to the, to the headrest, um, which of course could be a, a really nice feature. Um, yeah, so jumping back to the, uh, to the exterior, um, some, some tweaks we could do there. Um, first of all, the, the, I think the, the, the orange already has a really great level of contrast to, to, the, uh, to the carbon parts, but to increase that contrast even more, um, I'd like to apply a little bit of uh, black tint to, to all the carbon fiber, which means it doesn't appear so sort of gray when you see it in real life, but it's more black, but you still see, of course, the, uh, the weave very clearly. Uh, so I think that's a very neat touch and also it, it sort of makes the whole top of the car with the glass more, more as, a, as, a, as a unified shape. Um, then of course uh, we can play a little bit around with brake calibers. Um, in case with this, with this design of course we could go for an, an orange uh, brake caliber which would be quite cool. Uh, this is the same orange of course as the bodywork which is something we also offer. Um, Alternatively, we could uh, go back to the black one and maybe actually do even the, the front face of the wheels, which are now diamond cut, could also have a, a, an orange tint on top of it. So it basically becomes, uh, becomes orange as well. Um, but something more similar to the, the anodizing of the, of the interior, because it's, uh, it's basically, again, a transparent orange uh, clear coat, which is applied on top of the, of the wheel. So uh, we have that here. Yeah. So it will look something like this. Yeah. Um, so that's that's of course uh, that's of course an option. I do think, however, on this car there's plenty of orange already. So I think I would go for the, uh, the just the diamond the diamond cut. Um, or could we actually tone that diamond cut a little bit down, make it a little bit darker, uh, Frederick? Yeah, we have this. Um, we can do it like a sort of like a this. This quicksilver, quicksilver thing, is pretty, it's pretty cool, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then I think I'll probably go for the orange calibers that you had on there before. Yeah. Um, so like this, nice. so matches. Yeah. yeah, I think that's really really cool. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much accents. my spec. <laughs> of course, you have some accents options as well. If you want to have that's correct that's correct we should try that um, I think I mean all the all the sort of edges would be nice to to highlight and uh, I think just so something like this something like that yeah maybe even on the top as well would be would be nice yeah um, and actually a sort of a white metallic with the with the orange is actually a pretty neat it's actually a pretty neat uh, solution 
let's try the orange as well, just to do tone in tone and yeah. see what that looks like. So we have the orange here. Yeah. That is also really nice. Yeah, I think I'm 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 very much into the black and the orange uh, just sort of together. So I think that's that's pretty much uh, what I would go for actually. I think that's that's very neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So guys, that is uh, my spec of the uh, Senwo Aurora Tour. Um, really, uh, I think that will be quite stunning in, in real life. But uh, we have prepared some pre-specs of, of, uh, of other options where we've tried to go a little bit go a little bit crazy and, and do some, some, some different stuff. So we just want to show you that. Yes. Um, so for example, for the tour, we have, uh, we have this one, this one here, mm -hmm. which is like this uh, rose gold in the front. And then we have this kind of light blue at the rear, but with rose gold embedded into, into the clear coat. So we get these kind of highlights uh, of the rose gold yeah. from the front to the rear. It's really cool. And this option is actually it's something we we discussed to do these sort of color change and 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 it's it, it yeah i remember we had this discussion in yeah. the beginning we thought that was kind of really weird but because of the design of the car having a lot of mass in the front and a lot of mass in the back and basically just being connected through the piece on the door here somehow because the blend between the two colors is happening there and not for example if it was a sort of a, at one color at the base of the car and another color at the top and it would sort of fade on the middle of the whole car. We, we, we kind of find that this is actually quite a, 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 neat, a, neat, uh, a neat thing. And again, the interesting thing here and again with, with the fact that we do all our paints ourselves is like we can, we can take that copper or the rose gold pearl basically from the front and apply that in the clear coat in the back. So you have these, you can see here in the reflection, you get that sort of rose gold um, reflection in, in the blue paint. So that's that's actually a pretty nice option. Yeah. Um, sure. And we played around with it in the interior as well. So we have the blue leather um, and the rose gold accents. Um, and it's it's creating something quite unique, I think, uh, and, a, and a very, a very, very special car. Yeah. So if you want something a little bit more subtle, we have uh, we have this one, mm -hmm. which is like a full exposed carbon fiber, what, but with green tint on top. And yeah. I think it's going to be look really much like a like an emerald or something like that. It's, yeah. it's going to be really really nice pick. And of course, then having all the white to 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 you know do the again the contrasts uh, around the car. Yeah, exactly. Um, we did this uh, red and white one to sort of celebrate the, the Danish flag, the, <laughs> the Danabo, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is also really nice. The, the red color and this shape, I think, really shows how crazy this, this red color is. It's very, very, very bright in the highlights and almost dark in the, almost black yeah. in, in the shadows. I yeah. think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, you can even go for like a gray with, with orange pearl inside, so it fits with the orange interior and the orange calipers. Yeah. Um, but you know, still two different colors on the car. Yeah. Or you know, white with with a lot of blue, uh, blue tint and all the carbon fiber, even with the with the funny tartan inside. Mm. Um, or you can go like a very very dark red, or sorry, dark purple. Yeah. Um, with purple interior, you know, orange, bit of some, something like we we just did. Yeah. Just with uh, the tartan to... and the black wheels, yeah. and uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's so many different different options. Um, even for for the Agil, we also have a few pre specs. So, of course, this was what was what we showed uh, at Pebble Beach. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. the launch color. Yeah. Um, here you can go really sort of crazy, and and it, with all these crazy shapes, it's just just completely transforms the car. Yeah. Um, you can really make it look like a race car doing something like this. Yeah. So I have a, have a almost a flat color with the, with all the orange accents really gives it this kind of racing feel. Yeah. Uh, but you can also make it very smart and very sort of almost calm to look at. Yeah. Uh, this kind of British racing green. Yeah. Um, and of course you can go completely nuts and go uh, from purple purple tinted carbon in front fade into silver and with purple tint on top and yeah yeah definitely definitely out there <laughs> so you know there's so many different things that you can do you know, 
it's it's up to you and and the customers and and these are just some examples of what we can actually do here exactly okay guys this is uh, the new senro aurora configurator i hope you enjoyed it see you next time